welcome to our new Pocket Aces Racing monthly video recap. Uh, we're going to show up here once a month here on our, on our Pocket Aces Racing YouTube channel, let you know what's happened in the previous month, what we have coming up for the uh, coming month, and hope to have this, uh, this series out uh, at least you no know, later than the third or fourth day of each month going forward. So um, we're going to also, as part of this, our podcast is going to be changing to an every other week format. Uh, we've been talking about getting this YouTube channel up and going for such a long time now, and um, we finally got a lot of things that are starting to happen with it. Uh, that are going to be coming up in the very near future. So uh, we're going to scale back on the podcast a little bit. We may still have some you know, special weekly episodes and things like that that, that pop up. Uh, so maybe a little more than every other week. But uh, for the immediate future, at least, uh, the podcast is going to be coming out every other Wednesday instead of every Wednesday. So first, uh, real quick for our June, we're going to, since we're just getting started, we're going to go ease back into June just a little bit uh, where Iris Aces ran um, in the grade three stake. And just missed, uh, you know, coming in third to uh, Autumn and Fleet, who is pretty much the head of the turf division right now in North America. He's a Charlie Appleby trained uh, horse, and uh, yeah, in that Arlington win, he earned a hundred, uh, like I guess, 122 Equibase figures. So he's and he came back and followed that up with a win in the Wise Dan, and um, you know he's a multiple grade stakes horse, and then Irish Ace has just missed. Uh, getting that first graded stakes win, but he is graded stakes place now, so it's, um, uh, it was a nice accomplishment, great race, and that was certainly the highlight of um, the highlight of, of June activity for Pocket Aces Racing. Uh, we move into July. Uh, a microphone gets off the, you know, he'd, he'd had a little bit of a rough stretch, gets off the, the schneid, if you will, with a win in Monmouth, and um, we, we were a little concerned we might lose him in that uh, in that clamming race, but we didn't, and we're going to get him right back in uh, here really as, as soon as we possibly can, but it's real nice to see him back in the winter circle with, uh, with a nice performance. He's got a lot of talent, he's just had a He's had a few breaks here and there, a few tough breaks and a few little minor, you know, niggly injuries that uh, that keep bugging him here and there. Uh, carousing, of course, broke her maiden at um, at Belterra Park. We've been hoping for so long to get her on the turf at Indiana, at Horseshoe, Indianapolis. But for whatever reason, they just don't seem to write very many uh, maiden turf races for Indiana breads there. So uh, sent her over to... Uh, to um, uh, Belterra Park, where she she scored pretty easily. You know, she'd had a couple minor bleeding episodes in a, in a ra previous race or two that uh, hopefully is behind us now. And uh, looking forward to seeing what she does here in a couple days at at Mountaineer in an allowance race. Um, Irish Aces, uh, we sent him up then to uh, to Saratoga. He goes off as a favorite in an allowance race at uh, at Saratoga. Runs third, had perhaps the worst possible trip he could have gotten. Uh, talking to Brendan immediately following the race, he's like, you know, everything bad that, that happened, uh, that could have happened, did happen. And it's just uh, an unfortunate break for, for him uh, in a race that looked like he was, it was his to, to win. And uh, certainly, is, and then, uh, you know, if, you, if you've read any of our uh, updates, if you're involved in pocket in, in uh, Irish aces, you know, Tyler Gaffleone, as soon as that race is over, hops off the horse and he says, and just came up and apologized to me and said, man, I'm sorry. I owe you guys a race. And, you know, I jockeys are, 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 you know, they, they, they are, the, they earn the ire of a lot of racing fans, uh, after bad rides like that. And, and, you know, uh, none of us, you know, obviously would have liked to have seen Tyler pick up the win there, but I, I so appreciate the fact that he owned that he didn't give us the best ride, and he immediately came over and said, "Hey, that, that's my bad, and and, and we're going to fix it next time." And um, and as a matter of fact, it's it's, it's Tyler that um, uh, that that has been major factor in us being in the lure stake with Irish Aces today, because uh, I am recording this on Saturday, August third. Uh, so in the lure stakes today with Irish Aces, where uh, after the last work Tyler got off of him, said, "Brendan, I really think we need to th really think we need to try him in the lure stake instead of that allowance." Fortunately, it turns out to be the right call as uh, non-stakes races are off the turf today. So the allowance that he would have gone in would have come off the turf and he wouldn't be running. But he is going to run today uh, in the in the lure stake. Mile and a 16th, $135,000 purse. He's currently 5-1. to one. I believe he's the third choice. Uh, so, you know, it didn't work out when he was the favorite. Hopefully it works out when he's the third favorite. So um, we also had a really exciting debut uh, with Malia, our two-year-old uh, Ohio bred filly by uh, by Matoli. Uh, she debuted in the Tada Stakes, ran third, almost got second. 
Uh, nobody was catching the winner that day, Silver Kiss, but um, uh, Malia being in her first race but with, with a lot of horses that had run multiple times over their career, and a lot of them had won and hit the board, and um, she had a great, great uh, run uh, and, and great, great debut to finish third. And she is likely getting entered uh, <clears throat> to run in a stake at Thistledown later this month. Uh, so uh, right now, uh, you know, we're, we are in August, so we're closing out August. We've got, um, uh, again, we got uh, Irish Aces running today. We've got, um, who else do we have in the race? We've got the carousing in up at Mountaineer. Uh, we've got, um, I know I'm missing somebody uh, that's, that's entered in a race somewhere. And then we've got several horses that we're getting ready to enter in some races. So we're you know looking forward to getting getting rolling here in August and, and hopefully having a little better uh, you know little a good little uh, good little win off oh, Tricky Tracky the horse that we claimed in, in July um, or maybe the end of G I guess it was July that we claimed him uh, the little gelding claimed out of Horseshoe Indianapolis and he is running on Wednesday August seventh uh, and a starter optional and looking forward to seeing what he does as he absolutely torched that uh, that field that uh, we claimed him out of so. Um, the big news is we're gearing up for the uh, September yearling sale. So I'm not going to get too much into that right now, but we are going to be adding a few more yearlings to the stable in the, in the, you know, in the following month. And I uh, really look forward, you know, it's always my time. My, one of my favorite times of year is, is getting into the September yearling sale and getting out there and watching all those horses and uh, walk around the ring and just, uh, you know, dreaming of what might be when you when you get one and, and you bring it home and, and hopefully we're going to add three four or five horses uh, this this September in October and um, you know again we'll, we'll get into that a lot more with the with the next monthly recap uh, or video newsletter whatever we're going to end up calling this uh, this little feature but anyway thanks for tuning in thanks for joining us um, this is the uh, you know, not the first thing that we've done, but certainly one thing that we're going to be doing consistently. And uh, and again, thanks for subscribing to our channel. Uh, subscribe more. Feel free to comment below. Um, you know, obviously, uh, we're, we're, we've been, again, as I said earlier, we talk about this a lot. Uh, we are finally ready to really get going and really pumping out a lot of content. And uh, appreciate you guys joining us uh, for this little ride. Thank you much. Bye-bye.